Dispatch war rocket Ajax to bring back his body. Beard, mustache. Beard, beard, mustache. Beard, beard. Shaving. Shave. <laughs> <laughs> the town of Christopher Horton. You go first. <laughs> It's quite cool. Ash TV. Ule. You got an idea what that is? Um, is it, how much is it? I would like oil. Think less, I feel less. Oh, less. Okay. My poussine. <laughs> My poussine. My poussine. Oh. My poussine. Tetsi sami. Aratats. Ahata. Potato? <laughs> no. <laughs> it's. Can you show me on the map? The potato. <laughs> <laughs> can you show me the potato? Hello, it's Saturday the uh, 17th of August and uh, Chris and I are currently in the 
Kishinev South bus station, waiting for our three o'clock mini bus. We hope not. <laughs> we hope <laughs> hopefully it's coach. hopefully coach uh, to Yash, which is uh, Romania's second city, and we are uh, going to take it's going to take about four out of five hours. Hopefully, it looks like that. <laughs> and I fear it might look like that. <laughs> yes. So, who knows? Who knows? It was a minibus. This is our hotel room in Yash. <laughs> Long story. We uh, uh, go on a bus, started chatting to us, and then she said she would help us out. We we're going to get the trains, so we were all at the train station, her and her mate. And they decided, uh, well, we decided that it would be a better idea to get a very early minibus, which would be a lot cheaper and probably more straightforward. So after a lot of sort of sorting things out, we're now <laughs> booked into a uh, bed and breakfast, I guess, in Yash. This is our lovely room. With a and massive, uh, massive ensuite as well. We have a lovely ensuite, which is pretty good. Although we have to get up at about four, four o'clock. So uh, anyway, we better go because we're uh, heading out now with uh, Don Donya, Doina, Doina, and Oleg, and Oleg. So uh, <laughs> a night on the town in Yash. Action! Look at the car, someone. Two cars with each. I can't see the boy. Mama, look at the brinze. Welcome to Romania. Ah, 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 Quite the right areas and some fancy, uh, I don't know, New German city or something. <laughs> this kid's giving birth. <laughs> I can see it. It's crowning. <laughs> We get there. <laughs> we've been up. We've been up. Uh, we've been up since four. Four. And uh, we had to get a, an early six. The one bus. There it is. The one bus. It's on the right. Right. Left. <laughs> Middle. Middle. That's it. Got to get on the right one. We're very tired. We're off the bus. Off. We are about to climb the Tampa mountain outside Brasov. We are uh, got some water, we got some shorts on. <laughs> we're yes, all, we're all prepared. We're gonna go hunt some bears and some vampires. Yes, and kill them. Fine, right, right. So I'd estimate we're about just halfway up, maybe. Uh, and it is hard going. How are you feeling, Phil? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Set. Is that a sweat look at that sweat patch going on, on in your back. back? Yeah, that's nice. Oh. I have no idea if we're near the end of this wall. <laughs> but I am sweating more than I've ever sweated in my life. I can't see, I have texturizing gum in my eyes. <laughs> uh, my glasses keep on falling off. <laughs> I'm so sweaty. We might die up here. <laughs> Tell my wife and kids, I love them. Oh, something just flew into my eye. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, God, I sweat. Yeah, glistening. 
Hello, lady. <laughs> and we've made it to the highest point of the radio mast. This is the giant bee of Brassel. It's like the Holly uh, Hollywood sign. He went straight out of the camera. So we uh, we're about nearly four hours into it, and now we are in the second part of the walk. I mean, McCullough. And <laughs> still. Very sweaty. We nearly got killed by a couple of mountain bikes, <laughs> which is good. Phil's been walking like this the whole way. Huh? This is a new way of walking. It's really great. Like over a litre of water, we had one piss. <laughs> Get that on tape. <laughs> <laughs> but you've had 17 poos. <laughs> We think it's the blue triangle. And at most it's going to take three hours. <laughs> Which would mean we're going to spend seven hours on this walk. We're going to follow these blue triangles up here. There they are. Hopefully. We won't be stuck in the woods all night. We won't be. Chris is crossing the mighty stream. Brave it, we're in this little valley now. <laughs> so we've seen some tracks, might be a big dog. Be a bear. It goes through here. <laughs> it's been five hours. <laughs> we are still walking. <laughs> We've seen some civilization. A couple of people walk past. And the sun is starting to come down. We have some maybe a bit of life up here. Ah, uh, there it is. We've managed to find the sign telling us we can get to the bus station two kilometers. Thank God for that. <laughs> Bloody mate. We bloody made it. I need a beer. We both need beers. And we're gonna find one here. How are you feeling, Phil? <laughs> well, I feel a million bucks. I've walked for seven hours today and couldn't get a shower at the hostel because <laughs> bloody hot water's broken, isn't it? Um, so. Just feeling a bit gross, uh, but hopefully tomorrow will be a new <laughs> day. <laughs> day. Yeah, I don't, I don't even know what to say. <laughs> You're I'm really just, broken from that wall. I'm bro I'm a broken man. Oh, I haven't done so much exercise <laughs> since I was a child. <laughs> <laughs> We're in Sigashora. Okay. 
And this is where he was born. Uh, Count Dracula was born. So we are drinking Dracula frappes. <laughs> That's <laughs> the birthplace of Count Dracula. Mm. It's what Vlad would have wanted. Mm. And Bram Stoker too. Yeah. We've just been to the room where Vlad the Impaler was born. Count Dracula himself. The system went up there, turned on the CD player. <laughs> Scary music was going. We went up in a minute to this room, it was a little red and there was a, it looked like a, a mannequin lying there and, uh, and that's I was filming for a bit and then uh, right at the end I just thought, oh, this is it. Turned it off just as he came up and uh, well, did he scare us? I don't know if I was scared. But, not, uh, no, not we really. kind of knew something was going to happen anyway. Yeah, yeah. We got a picture of him and with him as well and he just stank of alcohol as well so it's an added uh, bonus. Hello, we are enjoying some disgusting tea. <sighs> <laughs> we are waiting for a train to Bucharest on uh, Tuesday night, the 20th. And it's, uh, but it's delayed, it's been delayed by an hour at least, I think. But uh, Romanian trains being what they are, we don't know really what's going to happen, so we're going to have to get there for 8.40. And wait in the train station. And wait until it <laughs> arrives. Uh, so this could be a very long journey. So the train <laughs> is now an hour and a half late. Welcome to Brashov Station with its glue sniffers. Gypsies. Beggars. <laughs> Beggars. I wouldn't say this is the highlight of the trip so far, would you? Makes Eastley Station look like bloody Paris. Paradise. Hi. <laughs> We've made it to Bucharest. Mm. Just checked into Umbrella Hostel. And this is our interesting bed. I don't even see it. Which, uh, we're just trying to work out the logistics. We so have a double, so double on the bottom and a, a single top. Mm. I'm getting double then. <laughs> I'm down there. I pay for it. <laughs> You're going up. Five. In the third wheel bed. The third wheel bed. Who can rest on a Wednesday morning? Football fans there. <laughs> Just there massaging my chest <laughs> as they walk past. They might catch a glimpse. Chris is now going to attempt to eat some egg. I don't like egg. He's well, I can eat go. scramble just about. All right, okay. <laughs> Makes me gym. Cheers! So, uh, I say Moscow. Police. Communist architecture. That's <laughs> <laughs> two words. Statues. Odessa. Sun. <laughs> <laughs> Never seeing the sea. Oh. Kishinev. Fountains. <laughs> Were there any fountains? Surprising. Transnistria. Small Transnistria. Surprising again. <laughs> <laughs> Yash. Tasty. Brashov. Cup of tea. Brashov. Church. Sukasara. Drunk Dracula. Bucharest. Smelly. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Beautiful Bucharest with its beautiful river. I mean, it's, it really uh, 
This guy sums up this city sets to me. The, sets the city off beautifully. What was your highlight? Um, I liked the Athletic Championships and I also enjoyed singing karaoke. I think just the kindness of strangers that it really was. That sounds really wanky, doesn't it? But it was. It was just so nice, wasn't it? Yeah, it was like, God save the Queen! That was fun. <laughs> <laughs> it's been an amazing trip. I mean, it's just been, yeah, it's been one of the best trips I've ever been on. It's been fantastic. Welcome aboard Taram Airlines flight. Let's see. Can you any number? Flight 942117. We are uh, about to embark on the final part of our journey. So we have made it back to Britain and this is where the journey is. It's been, uh, it's been an adventure. Yeah, it's definitely. Uh, we hope you've enjoyed the video. The wonderful video. Yes, here we are. Well done. Well done. <laughs> uh, Bye. See you for the next one.